The story of a people is told best by those who live it out daily. And when the history of that community is informative, inspirational, and insightful, it should then be shared with the world. The Clio Exchange does that. I like the one you, you said about earn room and board as a resident assistant. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, people in college, I mean, um, uh, that's one of the one of the ways. There's a chapter Which called, is very important. Absolutely. Yeah. Sure. Uh, I put a chapter in there, how to get a degree without debt, because mm -hmm. oftentimes people graduate and they're looking at this mountain of debt that they have to pay off student loans and so forth. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was prudent to put a chapter in there that talked about how to get a degree without debt. And one of the things I talk about is earning board, room and board as a resident assistant. Okay. Where you're working in the dorm, you're handing out sheets and doing other things to just kind of keep the dorm running smoothly. Mm -hmm. And in return for that, you get a reduction in tuition in mm -hmm. many cases. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and the, uh, y your other book, you did one on uh, human resources and managing people to peak performance. Absolutely. Kind of yes, I did. Uh, that book is called uh, Why Employees Failed to Meet Performance Expectations and How to Fix the Problem. Mm -hmm. And what I did was interview a number of managers as well as draw from my own experience okay. and identified the top 20 reasons that people fail to meet performance expectations, such as they don't know what they're supposed to do. They don't know how to do it. Mm -hmm. They don't receive any recognition for doing it. They don't know what constitutes success. They have issues with the supervisor. The supervisor has low expectations. Mm -hmm. The supervisor has unrealistic expectations. And, and so what I did in the book is identify those 20 reasons that employees do fail to meet expectations. Mm -hmm. And then I give the solution for overcoming that, and then I give step-by-step -step instructions on how to overcome that. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, wonderful. And, and, and it sounds as if it's just like this. These it is. These are very, these are <laughs> things you run into every day. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. just kind of pass right by Sure, them. sure. And my whole thing is, nothing needs to be complicated. Yeah. So yeah. it's just very straightforward, and this is what people tell me all the time who read any of the books that I've written, they say, gee, this is practical, it's straightforward, it's easy to read, mm -hmm. it's easy to implement, mm -hmm. easy to understand, mm -hmm. and that's, that's what I want. Now, if, if there was one that you'd lift out as being uh, critical, particularly for right now in this economic situation that we're living in, mm -hmm. that, that could be of some really great advice for folks, and I, I guess if you were to measure in terms of expense expensive uh, geographical marketing areas mm -hmm. in this country, right. Washington would be right. right at the top. Sure, sure. Any, any hard facts that would be useful right now for those folks? Well, there's a chapter, as you know, mm -hmm. on uh, food, cutting your grocery okay. bill. Okay. And I kind of break that down into three categories. What to do before you go to the grocery store, what to do at the grocery store, and what to do once you get home. And I mentioned a number of tips, such as uh, before you go to the store, make a list. That eliminates impulse buying, for example. Uh, plan your menus around what's on sale. That's what, you, what you're going to do. Uh, buy non-perishable things in bulk. Uh, this is at the store, of course. Mm -hmm. Another thing that a lot of people don't think about is um, look low and look high. Because the things that I level at the grocery store are the highest priced items. Mm -hmm. So the same item, a few shelves down, would be much uh, less expensive than yeah. the one right there at eye level. Right. And that's because- That's prime position. It is, it is. Uh, um, hmm. Manufacturers pay tip top money to get their merchandise price, uh, placed at, at that level. Mm -hmm. Now, just a, an aside real quick. Mm -hmm. I wonder what they do in the cereal section. You think they move it down? Yeah. I'm thinking for the kids, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The kids, you know, and they always use the bright. The labeling is oh, another marketing okay. Uh, okay. Uh, tactic, you know, to have the bright colors that are going to yeah. attract attention. Right, right. Okay, and um, you know, make sure uh, look for food uh, like steak, for example, that's about to reach its expiration date, okay. and then they've marked it down substantially. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, not buying things that you think your family should eat but don't eat, like. Cauliflower, for example. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> you know, you, it's very healthy, but nobody eats it, nobody so you eats. buy it and you wind up throwing it out. Right. So right. a number of those kinds of okay. things that okay. uh, that make make a lot of sense. Buying, getting coupons, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. 
going directly to the manufacturer, mm -hmm. getting coupons online. In fact, I have a, a link on my website where you can get uh, grocery coupons. Okay. So all of those kinds of things uh, well, really great. make a difference. Well, as we're winding down, that website once again is www.howtocutyourexpenses.com. All right. Vernon Williams. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you for having me. Oh, I pleasure. appreciate it. God bless you. God bless you.